I recognize the member for Guelph on the same point. Mr. Speaker, I too rise in support of the question of privilege brought by, uh, forward by the honourable member from Mel Peck. Mr. Speaker, I stood yesterday in this House and argued in defence of the rights of Western Canadian grain farmers and all Canadians that the insistence of this Conservative government to move ahead with this legislation, despite its refusal to respect Section 47.1 of the Canadian Wheat Board Act, was an issue that, in abrogating the rights of farmers, was a matter demanding urgent attention by the Minister responsible for the Canadian Wheat Board and by this House. Section 47.1 of the Act is clear, and I won't repeat the entire portion of the section, Mr. Speaker. The member from Malpac did that quite adequately. We know, Mr. Speaker, that this Minister must comply with the law. The government is missing a key element in its ideological pursuit of the death of the single desk sales and marketing system, the will of Western Canadian grain farmers. Consequently, the legislation before us exceeds the authority of the government based on its neglect in fulfilling all of its obligations. The institution of the Canada Wheat Board is considered so sacrosanct that codified in the statute is a mechanism designed to protect farmers from a government arbitrarily removing the strength and clout of an agency that markets and sells wheat and barley at the best possible price on behalf of all Western Canadian grain farmers. Section 47.1, Mr. Speaker, was enshrined in the Canadian Wheat Board Act to prevent the very abuse that is being perpetrated by this minister and this government this morning. It is not up to me or the minister to determine the fate of the single desk marketing and sales system. It is up to farmers. The government insists it is motivated by choice. However, it is forcing its will on farmers, not asking them. Meanwhile, our, our party's position has been consistent from the beginning. Let farmers decide. Mr. Speaker, this is an issue about the right of self-determination by farmers, a right so important that it became enshrined in the legislation. The only conclusion to be drawn from this is that the Conservative government has not only ignored the consequences of its actions, but it has acted in deliberate contravention of the legislation it is seeking to modify. modify. I ask that you find a prima facie case of a violation of this House's privilege. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.